forgot you were still out here. Welcome to White Details. It's been a while. Guards Red Porsche GT3, it's a 997.2. It's a new customer to White Details. It's been a long time coming actually, it's been the diary for a while. Already we've got the visual signs that there has been some work here. Wax residue on the lower splitter. Wax residue clumped up on the side of the PPF. Wheels aren't coming off on this job. It's the center locks quite like the red gold combination. Uh, otherwise it's put for a major correction. So obviously from this distance, the paint looks great. Why bother polishing it? I've been here before on that one. As soon as you put the light to the paint, you'll soon realize why. Under the spotlights in the ceiling, you've got the marring, the swirls. Uh, on the bumper, it's a flat color, so it's difficult to video, it's difficult to photograph. Actually, quite difficult to polish once we get going as well. There's a few deeper scratches, difficult to pick up without the big lights on, you see there. Deeper one, haven't done any paint thickness tests yet. Front bumper's pretty bad. Uh, it's gonna be a short and sweet episode. This is more to cover later. The whereabouts of white details, why I've not posted for a while. I'm sure if you follow white details on Instagram, you will know some of the reasoning there. Uh, scratch on the door. Where have you gone, Callum? You hiding? I'm hiding. Come on through, mate. You're all right. <laughs> Complications here at the back end. A bit awkward. Lots of. Ooh, pad changing, three inch, one inch hybrid. Bit of hand polishing as well. Get in and around the intricacies. Deeper marks in the spoiler. Plenty of haze and plenty of clarity loss on the paint. So we're gonna chase 90, 95% paint defect removal. I've seen myself today. Gorgeous as ever. <laughs> And this young man is Callum. Hello. Say hello, Callum. Hello. We shall <laughs> we'll come on to that. Uh, but for now, it's half past one, day one of possibly four, maybe five to finish off. Time for some dinner. Is this what you want now? Feels like you're looking for something better. Tuesday morning, work progressing on the Porsche. Callum's up on the roof rail on the near side working the hybrid. And I'm battling the offside front wing. I've actually switched to Kamikaze Collections Banzai Cut. The Porsche sticky paint, it sort of cements the residue to the panel. I was using Menzerna 400 heavy cut compound, uh, which really glues and clumps to the paint. Dries out pretty fast, but then the Banzai cut seems to be doing a better job. It's not too cut up either, to be honest. Obviously, obviously before, uh, work in progress. So you can see, yeah, there's cutting the marks there from the machine. 
but overall it's pretty easy to refine. Just doing some work on the filler cap, masking off the surrounding area to protect the wing, but tight at the top, you can see three inch doesn't quite, because the panel sort of drops at the top and at the bottom, it's difficult to roll the three inch over that, so I'm now gonna get the hybrid. Just do the perimeter, and there's a, there's a bad scratch there, so try and chase that out. Just saying to Callum about the importance of edge work, and of course we've been here before, we've covered that subject if you've watched the channels before. A five inch or six inch, three inch around the sides, the perimeter under the handle, a bit of hand polishing you've seen under there because you can't get actually, you can't actually get some access to parts of that. Very limited movement in terms of how far it flexes back. By the way, if you're a Porsche owner, and obviously the mirrors don't fold technically, but you see the little yellow tab, if you can flick that out, it does actually give you some foldage. You push it away to release. Yellow tab, flick, holds it in place, but still, limitations there for where you can't polish. Three inch has been on the top of the door handle here, the top of that edge of the door. Now I'm gonna drop down, send the car up on the ramp to do the bulk of the door. Uh, but edge work has been done, but still see at the very, very top of the door, the edge work now needs to be an hybrid. I could probably chase that a bit with the three inch, but the accuracy of the hybrid is just gonna allow that strip to be tight. It's the driver's door. If the sun hits it, that's gonna be hazy up top. So that wants to be as nice as that, which wants to be as nice as that, which wants to be as nice as that. How's it feel being behind the scenes? Good. Do you want a coffee yet? Oh, nice. Are you sure? The man doesn't drink tea or coffee. <laughs> He's obviously not a true Brit. <laughs> Do you want the GoPro? Yeah. GoPro. It's POV good. Callum. That's quite a good down angle. Sound. So just give it, uh, I'll give you till 10 pass. Okay. And I'll just, uh, yeah. Super duper. Definitely easy to buff off, isn't it? Huh? Definitely easy to buff off. Isn't it? Yeah. Let me just uh, angle it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Can you really see a crotch? Oh. No one wants to see That's that. why you put the GoPro on my head, is that what it was? <laughs>
Work for you. Yeah. Yeah. Bit, yeah. There, in that drawer, there is a tub of cocktail sticks as well. Top drawer. The plastic clear tub purple lid. This is the one. That's the one, if you need a cocktail stick. Sorry about the vocals then. It's all right, I'll tell you again, isn't it? Yeah, it was a bit of foo fighters. Offside driver's sill, the top ledge. Pretty, pretty beaten up, cut up with impacts and boot marks from feet going in. Uh, as we go onto the rear wing portion. Where's the light? There. That's been cleaned up. I've had two cuts. That upper ledge, two cuts of the hybrid. Yet to take on the three inch stuff. Door is cut, leading refining. But I think, to be honest, you hungry? I'm hungry. Actually, Don't eat the cocktail soup, no. Five past two, Tuesday. Dinner time. Oh, we can do fish and chip Friday. Lovely. Fish and chip Thursday. Fish and chip Thursday, yeah. Reminds me of Terry. <laughs> Good old Terry. Something tells me the brushes are worn. What's your sister's name? Olivia. Olivia, should we give her a little shout out? I think we should. She would love that. Hello Olivia. Callum's how old? Ten year old. Ten year old. Ten year old little sister. Callum says he loves you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the eyes. <laughs> Honestly he does. <laughs> It's the end of play Wednesday, day three. Progress isn't great, not good at all today. I haven't moved from the back end. I've done <coughs> the footage of me doing the hand polishing on the spoiler around the intricacies was about 9 a.m. this morning. It's now 6 p.m. I've done the spoiler and 40% of the rear bumper. So not good progress. I'd say collectively out of the day, I've had an hour out of the day in disruption or conversation or have a dad actually pop in, dinner time, all that sort of stuff. So a long day, hands on machine, the battery's about to die any second. Thursday, finish the cutting, get the engine bay dressed and start refining. It's the morning of day four, it's about 10 to nine, Callum's on his way over here in five minutes. <coughs> So update time ready, the reason for this video, uh, if you're not a follower of my details on Instagram or Facebook, you may have missed a post I did 
on Instagram TV, which sort of explained my whereabouts, why I've not maybe been posted on those platforms, but also here on YouTube. So it's gradually been building and it's been uh, noted as well that I was, in a, I was getting a bit tired uh, of this process, the industry actually. After New Year's, I something triggered me and I really went sort of like, you know, uh, I'm fed up. Um, I had a little bit of time off, I had a week away visiting a friend in Dubai, which I sort of very much of course enjoyed, uh, a bit of sunshine. But it wasn't long enough, it wasn't uh, a long enough period, it wasn't a big enough break away. My last holiday holiday, my last week away fully in the sun, was actually 2013 with my girlfriend at the time. It's got the GT3 to complete. Uh, I want to get this edit uh, stitched together online. Before I go away, because uh, as of the 3rd of March, I'm going to New Zealand. I'm traveling backpacking New Zealand. I say backpacking, camper van, traveling about, surfing, hiking, kayaking, climbing, swimming with dolphins, whatever it may be. Just take uh, a month out, four weeks, five weeks, maybe more. What happens at that point? I'm not sure. Hopefully come back and feel revitalized and fresh, good to go and tackle uh, the rest of the white detail bookings that are looming. The diary currently is closed, so I will be setting my voicemail, my out of office replies to uh, please bear with me and please understand that I'm taking some time out. So I reached out to Callum. Uh, Callum operates around his detail up in Rutland down in Rutland. He's an hour's drive away, bless him, so it's a hell of a commute to come through. I reached out to Callum off the back of meeting him at WAC, starting a bit of a fan of my details. He's quite early in his industry, in his uh, business that he started. He reminds me of a young me. He's 21, and I started my details officially when I was 20, 21, uh, back in 2009. So Callum, I do appreciate your help this week. Uh, you're a great lad. We hopefully can possibly do a few things in the future. It's just, it, it's nice having the company as well. Uh, and that's been half of the problem since I've been back on my own again. Yes, I was doing it for eight years on my own beforehand, but maybe uh, it's now been a realization that it is a lonely job. It is very, you're locked away. You've got your podcasts or your music. And that's about it. And I'm sat here talking to myself in an empty room on camera, it's slightly mad. Callum doesn't know this yet. I'm gonna try and get him to do a bit of vlogging later. I'll let him update you on the refining process, perhaps this afternoon. So I've got the rear bumper still to cut to finish off. I spent all day yesterday on the spoiler and 30% of the rear bumper. The bumpers are like granite. They're rock hard. They're not, they're not pleasing to work on. to listen to. Jim out for a few days on this stunning Porsche GT3. We're on day four at the moment, uh, started on the Monday, now on the Thursday. Uh, the cutting has finished uh, in the last sort of couple of hours. Got the unit reset, swept up, IPA the car, uh, got it ready for refining. A few different test spots with uh, different uh, pads and polish polishes. Figured out that Gion Primer was the way forward. We had a really tough time uh, with it being flat We had a really tough time buffing off the compound. Um, so we didn't really want to have the same problem again. Because the more pressure you put on the on the polish when you're buffing it off, you risk putting scratches uh, back in the clear coat and having to basically restart. So Bonnet is now cut and refined, looking amazing. Definitely a lot of work to get to this position, but all worthwhile when you take a look back and have a look at how glossy 
and reflective this bonnet is. So just got the rest of the car now to do. Hopefully we should be done by the end of today. Get it all refined up, ready for coatings in the next day or so. This is so easy to buff, isn't it? Yeah. Dreamy. All that, uh, all that hard work to begin with, it sort of like... Pays it off. Yeah. It doesn't always. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's nice for you to experience it at the end of it though. Some of the lyrics are deep. They are. They're good story writers. Yeah, yeah. This is Dave who's singing now, I'm sorry. No, no, no. So it's, uh, Dave. Yeah, you see what I mean? Like, he's. Hi, Dave! Do <laughs> it! <laughs> it! What's left? What, tell me what's going on. So, I've ridden now. I've uh, ridden. Everywhere has been doing a three inch width, so just going around now and just I've ridden everywhere. One inch. And then I'm gonna. Just hit this little lip here, just underneath where the ridge plate will sit. And a bit of fingering on the bottom. Fingering at the bottom there. And then mm -hmm. uh, around here and then we should be done. Happy days. Yeah. Good, it's mate. looking good, mate. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. With these lyrics, I mean, Brian is like supposed to be dancing, so it's what works so well when you've got three lyrics. People don't get that I'm serious. I don't want to play games no more. Refining is finally complete. I'm now working. I'm st oh, I'm falling off. Refining is finally complete. I'm starting the toothpickery work now. There's a lot of previous polish residue built up in these channels. It's a tedious, slow, but very, very important process to get everything out. Not only, not only the areas that we've had tape. Also the previous polish areas that are scattered around the car also. Alright, come sit yourself down. Oh no, where's the tape from? Top left. You gotta say good good morning <laughs> social media. I'll leave that here. Bless <laughs> you. Uh, end of Thursday, that's day four. Done. And thanks to Calum's help, we've actually been able to now. Cut and refine, sort the engine bay, and it's now a day and a half left for me to finish off the intricate areas, the wheels, the interiors, door shuts, toothpick, coatings. Uh, so thank you, buddy. No, it's really my pleasure. pleasure. Thanks for having me. you again. If you were to say there's one thing you've taken away and you'll implement next week when you start working on your own cars, what would be the first I change? Need to get an hybrid. Okay. Need to get a one inch polisher. The they... next question, the next question would be what would you buy? <laughs> <laughs> what else out of machinery? Or is there any sort of methods or things that you've, you've impressed me with how well you've absorbed actually. I'm not saying you were mm -hmm. um, a long way off. Mm -hmm. you, you impressed me and surprised me of what you could do anyway. What about the apron? You enjoy the apron? This is so First, useful. Yeah. What do you, I mean, you, you, you mentioned about leaving buffing the polish off, leaving it on top of the car and forgetting about it the and coming back, yeah. yeah, and then 
once you start polishing again, all the dust is flying everywhere, it gets contaminated in the cloth. Just useful to have a little pouch. Yeah. I feel like I've uh, maybe drilled in residue control too much, but it, it, it isn't too much. It's, it's well, important. It's important. Sort of, we've not had an issue with marring going back in the pan no. or anything because it's just work smarter, not harder. If you end up dirty, working dirty, you're going to be chasing your tail all the yeah. time. Or another little product we spoke about earlier in the week is the AM Details Clay Bomb. Alan, you said about you to pick up that. Yeah. And you have a, quite a big shop in this now. Yes, massive. Very sorry about that. Yeah, it's a very costly trip down there. Yeah. But uh, thank you for coming. You're welcome back anytime. I appreciate it. Thank I've you. had a good week. Same on. Safe journey back. Thank you. My pleasure. All right. Smash it. Less talk from me and more work. It's Friday, last, uh, probably half a day tomorrow, Saturday as well actually. Interior, exhaust, wheels, door shuts. For now. Struggling with polish residue on plastics, previous polish residues, difficult to see there. The magic sponge, all the equipment uh, that I use and recommend can be found in the description to the video down below. This has been used multiple times on the Porsche. Stubborn polish on plastics, have to be careful with on textured surfaces. And I'm sure a lot of you have seen this little trick before. Head on down into the video description to find the links. Everything can be found on Amazon.
on a sexy vehicle, I'm sure you'll have to agree. And your subscriber, good morning. Of course, thank you to Callum this week for your help. It's great to spend some time with a fellow detailer. And again, he's a young, reminds me of me in my early 20s. I set up officially in 2009. Before that, I was a weekend warrior for two years. So it was about 13 years or so in the industry. Callum's details are in the description to the video below if you want to go and uh, send some love, say hello, check out his page. What next for me? That is the question. I have no immediate plans, but I'm gonna get away, as said, uh, disappear for five, six weeks, come back, hopefully feel revitalized, find the passion, find the love, and then pick up where we left off or change what I need to change. Before I take you around the Porsche, the after footage, uh, in fact, I'd like to, I don't know, it could work both ways in that it's beneficial for me to get out on the road, but also maybe for yourself, if you're a detailing outfit, would you like me to come to your center, to your shop, to your studio or workshop and shadow you? I can be on the tools, I would have the camera, it would be a marketing exercise or training perhaps as well, a bit of both, where I would spend two, three, four days in accommodation with you on site, on the job, working together uh, and actually feature it and have your business feature on a vlog, on an independent vlog. Uh, in the springtime, summertime, uh, one of them a month will be refreshing for me to be on the road out of the village in these four walls. And again, I'm sure it will work both ways uh, and great marketing uh, for somebody else. Obviously, there will be expenses to cover, but if you're interested and that does and that has piqued your attention, then drop me an email or a direct message over on Instagram. So please enjoy the after footage of the Porsche. Um, thank you for your support. Follow us on Instagram. I would normally say for daily behind the scenes and updates, but it's not so much daily at present. Find us on Instagram, Facebook as well. Like the video if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you're not part of the community already. Take care and bye for now. Massive thank you to Jim for having me down here at White Dean. De 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 it's been very problematic to cut. Um, it's been very problematic to. Come on, Danielle. Come over here, mate. Mine's well, gone blank. Okay. I've just sat here for the last four minutes talking and the bloody thing wasn't recorded. I'm out of practice.
This was, this not only did it provide a good enough, good enough. Not only this, not only did this. <laughs> Reason for the blood that This is what you don't see. Yeah. I always cut this stuff out. <laughs> Did a few test spots for refining. Uh, it turns out that um, after three or four different polishes, um, let's try again. Bloody hell. I know you're laughing right now, watching this, watching this back. Pristine detail. GWDP discount code for 10% off the 10 inch microfiber, 10 inch, 